Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mystery Channel 33. I'm here to help solve missing women, shooting, and men cases. We are here to break the codes if we see any. We are here to see where their bodies are located, if they know. And we also here to see if they are alive, deceased, body suited, change your infancy, or misidentity. Yeah, I already should know. This couple told me they are deceased, okay? I already sent them up to Most High, okay? So, um, yeah, we just gotta handle some other stuff, okay? Like get their bodies and stuff like that. Um, I was looking after I posted that video about the couples. Something just told me to go look for couples that were gone, and these the ones that popped up to me. Okay, so let's begin. Um, this thing, okay, it's titled, um, okay, Mommy and Daddy Won't Wake Up. Family Questions DPD's Response. Fake ones. After children found alive days after parents killed an apartment. I heard the kids are gone too. Dallas officers have responded to a shots fired call at the apartment three days before a couple was found. They usually do do this. So I know we had a couple like that down here as well. This is from Dallas. David Stewart, 27, and his girlfriend, Jamina Nunez, 24, was the parents of two daughters aged three years old and eight months old this weekend they were getting ready to celebrate their little girl's fourth birthday so they got the bodies of the little girls stewart's mother said he loved his two daughters that was his life his mother latoya stewart said not his real mother those little girls and his girlfriend he was a great dad wednesday afternoon dallas police officers found the young couple shot to death i'm hearing yes their daughters was found safe at their northeast Dallas apartment. I did hear what I did hear what they said when someone got there. They were just in there playing with toys. You know, just saying mommy and daddy won't wake up, said LaToya. The Dallas Police Department DPD said the couple may have been killed killed Sunday night. WFAA has learned from sources that on Sunday a neighbor called 911 at eleven fifty eight PM. I'm hearing the little girls and I also heard the wife did as well during the incident. I think I do. She told police she heard four shots follow, followed by banging and what sounded like fighting. But officers wasn't assigned the call until nearly two hours later at 1.45 a.m. And officers didn't get to the apartment until nearly 2 a.m. Officers knocked on the door and left. I don't know why they didn't try to go in or cry. I just feel if you get a call like that and somebody heard shots, you should go in and go in the apartment and go see, said LaToya. Okay. Responding officers knocked on the door several times and announced themselves at police. Not real ones, okay. Before the incident, I'm hearing. Okay, yes. Officers also listened at the door for sounds coming from inside the apartment and didn't hear anyone inside. There was no sign of a forced entry into the apartment, said Dallas Police Department spokesperson Christian Lowman. Sources said to police went back to the apartment on Wednesday when a neighbor called and said the oldest child was walking around outside, not their real child, and they stopped to ask her, ask her where her parents were. She led them to the apartment. David Stewart's mother wondered what if police had found them sooner. Did they just immediately pass away? I'm hearing no. He did. I'm hearing he did. She did not. Or did they suffer for a day? I'm hearing because of the placenta. That is true. Or bleed to death. I don't know. I'm hearing she was also pregnant. But I feel like if the police and ambulance would have gotten there, maybe they could have at least gotten them to the hospital, said LaToya. DPD said when the call came in Sunday night, they had more than a dozen other priority to calls already holding and responded as soon as there was officers available. Reason why that? Because the real police officers in that city is deceased. Okay? The department has struggled with longer responses times. Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia had previously said he needs more officers to respond to priority warrants one and two calls like this one so garcia is looking at creating a civilian group that will respond to lower priority non-emergency calls to free officers up for the more urgent calls okay i'm hearing okay thursday dpd said officers are still searching for steward and nunez car they they got their car which is missing from the apartment complex parking lot 
Police ask if anyone spots the 2014 black Nissan with Texas license plates. Capitalize H N T nine seven zero eight to contact Detective Yahir Perez. The person that's over the bodies will answer. A Yahir Y A H I R dot Perez at DallasCityHall dot com. Not a real city, okay? Or two one four six seven one forty seven thirty five. Crime Stoppers will also pay up to 5000 for information that leads to the arrest and indictment for the crime. Don't accept it because they're going to kill you, okay? They're going to call you a snitch and kill you. If you have information and would like to remain anonymous, call Crime Stoppers at 214-373-8477 between the hours of 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Okay, and here go two videos. Also missing at this apartment was the couple's car, okay, which leads detectives to believe that someone may have gone inside this apartment, shot the two, and then left the area in that vehicle. We were just talking with detectives earlier. They are trying to locate that vehicle for us, or excuse me, for the investigation, uh, and told us essentially uh, that the suspect information that they have will be uh, determined on how they find or if they find that vehicle. A downstairs neighbor talked with us as well. She uh, said that she heard three gunshots on Sunday night, possibly an altercation as well, called police. They showed up, knocked on the door. Nobody came. They left, and then they returned today to check on the couple, and they knocked on the door, and this is what they found, meaning those kids likely were unattended for up to 48 hours. But like we said, thankfully, they are unharmed and currently right now in the custody of CPS. But this is a pretty tragic scene here, and a double murder in northeast dallas dallas pd taking a very hard look at this one once we get more details on it we'll be sure to share them with you back to you yeah a lot of details left to unfold we'll see you at 10 matt thank you okay and here's the other one okay yep she was pregnant are you full of headlines and what you see on social slash email check it out okay David Stewart and his girlfriend, Jimena Nunez, were getting ready to celebrate their little girl's fourth birthday this weekend, along with their eight-month-old daughter. David's mother says he loved his girls. That was his, his life for those girls. Wednesday afternoon, Dallas police found the young couple shot to death. Their daughters were found safe inside the apartment. They said when someone got there that they were just in there playing with toys, saying that the mom and dad won't wake up. Dallas police say the couple may have been killed Sunday night. WFAA has learned from sources that on Sunday, a neighbor called 911 at 11.58 p.m. She told him she heard four shots, followed by banging and what sounded like fighting. But officers weren't assigned the call until nearly two hours later at 1.45 a.m. and didn't get to the apartment until nearly 2 a.m. Officers knocked on the door and left. I just feel like if, you know, you get a call like that and you somebody heard shots, you should go in. Go in the apartment. Go see. Dallas police issued a statement saying responding officers knocked on the door several times and announced themselves as police. Officers also listened at the door for sounds coming from inside the apartment and didn't hear anyone inside. DPD says there was no sign of forced entry and officers searched the surrounding area before they left. Sources say police went back to the apartment on Wednesday when a neighbor called and said the oldest child was walking around outside and they stopped to ask her where her parents were. She led them to the apartment. David's mother wonders what if police had found them sooner. Did they just immediately pass away or did they suffer for a day or, you know, bleed to death? I don't know. But I feel like if the police and ambulance would have got there, maybe they could have at least gotten them to the hospital. Dallas police say when the call came in Sunday night, they had more than a dozen other priority two calls already holding. So they responded as soon as they had officers available. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez. Okay, <clears throat> also, people want to know why I put extra articles in my video that don't have nothing to do with the case, so. okay, and I'm going to tell you why, okay, because I heard to do that, okay, just in case it can also help, it can also help, hold on y'all, it can also help 
that person, okay, that I'm putting in their videos, okay, it can like manifest into the in the in the public eye, okay, that's why as well. Also, I cannot wash over little girls, okay. I can only wash over little boys because of my daughters, okay. So you want to know why I why a lot of boys little boys get rescued is because they are a boy, okay, and they not a little girl, okay. I cried, but I cannot do it, okay. So you like to help with this case, y'all can. I don't do it for the fame of the money. I do it for this what I love to do. And to the real families of these victims, corporate America will say shout up, okay? Thank God, peace, and be safe. And yes, my phone is charging.